Hello YouTube, Tim here with a slightly retillered C-shaped bow. This is very close to an authentic shape for a Crimean Tatar bow, although substantially shorter. The core is from one end to the other, 48 inches before flattening, and then it's about three and a half inches to the knock on each side. Maybe a little bit less than that, but that's what I was aiming for. At any rate, that adds a little bit to the size, but it's still in the low 50s of overall length, so it's not substantially longer, really. It, I was hoping it would give it a little bit more leverage, so to speak, and allow me to not stress the limbs quite so much at draw once it's braced. We'll see in, in how it'll turn out, because this is going to be its maiden stringing. I've got a string here which should be fine. It might be a little on the short side, but we'll find out. I'll have to adjust it as needed. I'm pretty sure this will brace because I've gone and flexed each limb individually, and the limb does appear to flex to a point where it should be stringable. Shall we have at it? I'm going to just angle this a little bit up. There we go. One problem I can foresee is that the more stressed the limbs are, the more sensitive the bow is going to be towards differences in the individual limbs. If, they're, if it's a straight bow or very close to it, a simple recurve, it's very easy to get by if the limbs are not tillered perfectly. And I don't believe this bow has perfectly tillered limbs, but we're going to have to try for that. That's really the goal. Here we go. By the way, okay, here, one more thing. Let me just show it to you from the side before I go and probably wreck it. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely too, uh, too short. Need a longer string. Okay. I do have a longer one here. I think it's too long. I'll probably have to come up with something intermediate. But let's just try it for now. This is the same string that I was using on the Sylvan bow, the Mirkwood bow. I believe it's too long. There's only one way to find out. Because that was pushing the bow to just where it felt like it might start to buckle. I could be wrong. Maybe that was just the, the bow trying to twist. It's hard to say. Ooh, that's too long. Okay. That's exciting. So, too hot, too cold. The good thing is we have both the strings, and we can now decide exactly what length we need. It should be the Goldilocks zone, somewhere in between these two. Longer than my standard strings for 48 inch long recurves and shorter than the one for the 60 inch long uh, bows such as the Merkwood bow. So uh, I'll get on that. I'll produce a string and hopefully in short order we shall see the finished product. Here are the strings. There we go. Tune in again soon and we'll update this whole process and hopefully successfully draw, string, and pull and get this bow going.